not all of these individuals will survive to reproduce. Not all of these individuals will survive to reproduce. Not all of these individuals will survive to reproduce. Not all of these individuals will survive to reproduce. In many cases, those which do survive to reproduce are those whose variations best match the environmental requirements in a specific environment. Each environment has its own characteristics, its temperature, its amount of rainfall, the pH of the water, the nutrients in the soil, the annual climate. Each area has its own predators and prey items and disease organisms. And so therefore, in a population, some may be better suited to these environmental variables than others. They are better adapted to this environment. Therefore, natural selection will increase the likelihood that those individuals adapted to that environment will survive long enough to reproduce. And so thus, any variations which increase fitness for a specific environment, increase an organism's ability to survive to reproduce in that environment, such alleles are likely to increase in frequency in the population. So thus, natural selection can change allele frequency as those organisms which are best adapted for the climate, for the predators, for the prey, for the parasites, etc., in a specific environment succeed, while those which are less adapted to that environment are more likely to fail. In these examples here, Consider the background of the environment and predict which of these velociraptors are most likely to avoid the predator in each of these three separate environments. And then predict how this would affect the allele frequencies of the next generation.